Sa din ay han makanto ni si Chaiman. Traveling siya ho? Aba, to support man ini. Din ay han nga island si Chai makanto. Abi-abi pangitaon ta sa kagpamangkuton. Chai, di ka makanto man. Oh, hi. For today's video, Chai is going to explore Curles. Together with the group, we booked our trip via Gigantes Island Travel and Tours. For 1,099 pesos only per head, you get the summer adventure and experience you're dreaming of. First up, the Tanque Saltwater Lagoon. Tucked within the steep cliffs of Isla de Gigantes Sur Iloilo, hailed as Iloilo's hidden paradise. Tanque Lagoon's refreshing shallow waters and scenic rock formation makes this isolated spot one of the rising tourist attractions in the province. Tanque means tank in Filipino and the locals named the lagoon as such because there is a gap among the boulders that serves as the opening to the water. Water from the sea goes inside the tank to fill up the lagoon. There are times that the waters can get shallow and can even dry up. This makes the natural pool perfect for those who are scared to swim in deep waters. After Tanke, our group was off to Bantigi Island. The best time to visit this island is during sunset. Then we have our lunch at Lantangan Beach. We were served with only scallops, only rice, and only coffee for a total of 6 menus. They serve mango and avocado shakes too for 95 pesos only. Next stop is Kabugao Gamay. Kabugao Gamay is one of the three minor southern isles in the Islas de Gigantes Archipelago. One of the Kabugao Gamay's most distinctive features is its rock formation which is covered by greenery. The white sandbar which is located at the island's northern tip is surrounded by stunning emerald waters that are perfect even for casual swimmers. Sightseeing is definitely a treat for those who make the effort to reach Kabugao Gamay Island. The huge rock boulder has become the most famous spot on the island. The locals turned it into a view deck and there is a set of wooden stairs to help visitors enjoy the 360 degrees of the whole island. Aside from the viewing deck, Visitors can also take advantage of the usual island activities, including kayaking, snorkeling, and paddle boarding. Our last stop is the Antonia Beach, located at the southernmost eastern tip of Isla de Gigantes Sur. It is best known for the white sandy beach accentuated by unique limestone boulders jutting in and around its surrounding areas. What makes this rock formation special is their sandwich-like appearance. Some say it looks like man-made, but it's not. The downward-leaning flat rocks are a natural phenomena called karst formations. The best time to visit these places is during summer months, which is in between March to May. However, expect large crowds during this season as most school-aged children and teenagers are also on summer break and are likely to be on vacation with their families. And don't forget to take beautiful photos. Trust the hands of your tour guides. They get the most beautiful photos. Off we go. That's our sundo na. Till the next trip. Chais and choice. Buyers.